Hi guys, I am here to do a reaction, somewhat type of review for Beauty and the Beast. It was so amazing. I just left. Like I think I've been out of the movie theater for maybe about 20 minutes. Um, we went to the movie theater with the reclining seats so we could be very comfortable. Um, and we all know, you know, the story of Beauty and the Beast. You know, the Beast needs to find love. Someone to love him and someone that he's able to love before the last petal drops. It pretty much stuck to the same basis that all Beauty and the Beast stick to. But it had more of like a futuristic type of um, feel to it. Like it wasn't like the cartoon or the real cartoony kind. It was a musical and they did it in more of a, a futuristic type of setting. Like the Beast looked very technical. Like like he was, you could tell he, everything was put together and uh, he makeup was a good part of it. But it seemed like it still was some technical um, illusions in his whole Beast attire. So my... Um, it would be a four. It would probably be a uh, out of one to ten. Let's say one to ten. Out of one to ten, it would probably be a nine and a half. It kept me interested the whole movie. The um, musical part, which normally uh, annoys me, like I normally don't like movies that are real, like musically all the way through. That kind of annoyed me, but it wasn't overwhelming to where I was not interested in a movie uh, it kept me intrigued there were parts that were funny you know just little subtle, ju set subtle jabs that made it funny there are parts that were sad of course you know because you know the story of Beauty and the Beast you know that it all works out but when it first happened towards the end of the movie where everything was turning um, thinking that she didn't make it in time was very sad I, uh, I teared up a little bit had a few sniffles or whatnot, you know, just normal. But it really was a good movie. If you have kids or if you if you have children, um, or I would say probably kids that would be excited for you to take them to go see it would be any girl under the age of like 17, 18. Because my daughter is 12. She was excited to see it. My niece is seven she was excited to see it of course because that's her age range but my daughter was even excited to see it and while i was getting my uh refreshments there were like four or five young like young ladies they were in their seven teens they got dropped off at the movies and they were excited to see it like so I was, i'm like it was a all real rounded movie and it attracted different a lot of different ethnicities and uh age ranges and uh, sex it it attracted lots of people for a variety of people to watch it so that was very very good i give that thumbs up uh, what else it was just a cute movie all the way around um casting i probably would have picked a different king he wasn't just like drop dead gorgeous when he turned back into the prince I would have expected him to be like, oh, you know, like drop dead gorgeous. He wasn't. But, you know, that was pretty much my only gripe with the casting. It was a good movie. It had me crying and sniffling and laughing and giggling. It was really, really good. Singing along to the, you know, the classic songs, like Beauty and the Beast or uh, what else did they sing? Oh, Be Our Guest. You know, just the, the classical movies. I mean, the classical uh, songs that come from that particular movie so if you have not seen it i would say go see it i'm not gonna do like a review review on it because i don't want to spoil it for anyone i know it just came out friday so it's fairly new so i just wanted to give my reaction to the movie it really was a good movie i enjoyed it i um feel like it was worth every penny that i spent and i will say that i had a hundred dollars at the beginning of today and I have seven dollars left from just doing stuff like but most of it was at the movies most of it was spent at the movies my daughter needed she has to have snacks no matter what so 
We ended up getting, oh, and AMC and Carmite with the merger. They changed the kids tray. The $5 kids tray normally came with like a little uh, square, probably about that big full of, with the popcorn. They would put the popcorn in there. My daughter said it was too small. So she wanted me to buy her small popcorn. And the the young man who was checking this out said, oh, let me show you the kids, um, kids tray boxes that the popcorn comes in now. It was probably, it was, I know it was bigger than the small popcorn. It was probably about the size of a medium popcorn at the movie theater. So instead of buying, this is my suggestion to anyone who goes to the movies, if you like to eat popcorn and not a lot like me, I normally get a small popcorn and just eat the top, the part that has butter on it. Those are amazing because they give you so much popcorn and you can have some leftover and you can even do the gourmet ones. With like the cheddar, the uh, blueberry, and the caramel for like an extra 75 cent or something like that. But they give you a drink and fruit snacks. So if you go into the movies and you're anything like me where, you know, you just got to have popcorn. No matter what, you got to have popcorn. That is the best deal that I have seen in a long time. We normally get the kids trays anyway just because I'm like, you're going to waste pop a pop whole popcorn and you need a drink. And that's just too expensive. A small popcorn, small drink is about $14, $15. So, you know, just be happy with the amount of popcorn that's in there. Get your fruit snacks, get your drink, and that's that. But, yeah, it's a really, really great bargain. So, if you go look at the new Kids Tray box, or they call it Kids Combo, the boxes that the popcorn come in are amazing. So, yeah, that's my take on the movie it was amazing it was excellent if you're thinking about seeing it go see it i would definitely say that you'll enjoy it so i just wanted to get my reaction really quick i took my sleeping pill before i made it home so lunesta has kicked in and the sandman is coming down and i have work in the morning so that's all i'm gonna say for today see you guys Tomorrow, I think I'm going to do a video on what comes on Mondays. I'm trying to remember what I watch on Monday. Oh, Love and Hip Hop. I didn't really start a review for Love and Hip Hop. So I might do a reaction or I might just try to go back and catch up with my reviews. But if not, I'll see you tomorrow for something else because I have a couple of other shows that I just watched that I want to talk about. For Pete's sake, I definitely want to talk about because that show, for whatever reason, continuously has me in tears. So I want to talk about that with you guys. So I appreciate you watching. And I would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more and soon. And the quality will be a lot better. And I won't be looking a mess. Right now, my hair isn't done. My makeup isn't done. Uh, still have my glasses on and my earrings on because I haven't taken them off yet. But that's about it. Like... I've actually already washed my face, the makeup off of my face, but then I remembered that I wanted to do a video and I was like, damn, I have no eyebrows. So yeah, I was just like, let me just go ahead and get it done. So you get to see me in all of my naked face realness. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you have not. I love you guys. Good night.